Roland was a Frankish military leader under Charlemagne who became one of the principal figures in the literary cycle known as the Matter of France. The historical Roland was military governor of the Breton March, responsible for defending France's frontier against the Bretons. His only historical attestation is in Einhard's Vita Caroli Magni, which notes he was part of the Frankish rearguard killed by rebellious Basques in Iberia at the Battle of Roncevax Pass. The story of Roland's death at Roncevax Pass was embellished in later medieval and Renaissance literature. He became the chief paladin of the Emperor Charlemagne and a central figure in the legendary material surrounding him collectively known as the Matter of France. The first and most famous of these epic treatments was the old French Chanson de Roland of the 11th century. Two masterpieces of Italian Renaissance poetry, the Orlando in Amoratore and Orlando Furioso, are even further detached from history than the earlier chansons. Roland is poetically associated with his sword Durandal, his horse Valentov, and his elephant horn. History the only historical mention of the actual Roland is in the Vita Caroli Magni by Charlemagne's courtier and biographer Einhard. Einhard refers to him as Rodlandus Britannicae Limitus Praefectus, indicating he presided over the Breton March, France's border territory against the Bretons. The passage, which appears in Chapter 9, mentions that Raudlandus was among those killed in the battle, while he was vigorously pursuing the Saxon war, almost without a break, and after he had placed garrisons at selected points along the border, Charles marched into Spain, in 778, with as large a force as he could mount. His army passed through the Pyrenees and Charles received the surrender of all the towns and fortified places he encountered. He was returning to Francia with his army safe and intact, but high in the Pyrenees on that return trip he briefly experienced the Basques. That place is so thoroughly covered with thick forest that it is the perfect spot for an ambush. Charles's army was forced by the narrow terrain to proceed in a long line and it was at that spot, high on the mountain, that the Basques set their ambush. The Basques had the advantage in this skirmish because of the lightness of their weapons and the nature of the terrain, whereas the Franks were disadvantaged by the heaviness of their arms and the unevenness of the land. Eguhard, the overseer of the king's table, Anselm, the count of the palace, and Roland, the lord of the Breton march, along with many others died in that skirmish. But this deed could not be avenged at that time, because the enemy had so dispersed after the attack that there was no indication as to where they could be found. Roland was evidently the first official appointed to direct Frankish policy in Breton affairs, as local Franks under the Merovingian dynasty had not previously pursued any specific relationship with the Bretons. Their frontier castle districts such as Vitre, Elaveline, south of Mont Saint Michel, are now divided between Normandy and Brittany. The distinctive culture of this region preserves the present day Gallo language and legends of local heroes such as Roland. Roland's successor in Britannia Nova was Guy of Nantes, who, like Roland, was unable to exert Frankish expansion over Brittany and merely sustained a Breton presence in the Carolingian Empire. According to legend, Roland was laid to rest in the Basilica at Blay, near Bordeaux, on the site of the citadel. Legend Roland was a popular legendary figure in medieval Europe. Over the next several centuries, Roland became an iconic figure in medieval minstrel culture. Many legends made him a nephew of Charlemagne Main, and turned his life into an epic tale of the noble Christian killed by Islamic forces, which forms part of the medieval matter of France. The tale of Roland's death is retold in the 11th century poem The Song of Roland where he is equipped with the Olyphant and an unbreakable sword, enchanted by various Christian relics, named Durandal. The song contains a highly romanticized and embellished account of the Battle of Roncevax Pass and Roland's death, setting the tone for later fantastical depiction of Charlemagne's court. 
It was adapted and modified throughout the Middle Ages, including an influential Latin prose version Historia Caroli Magni, which also includes Roland's battle with a Saracen giant named Ferracutus who is only vulnerable at his navel and in the 14th century Italian epic, La Spagna. Other texts give further legendary accounts of Roland's life his friendship with Olivier and his engagement with Olivier's sister order told in Gerard de Vienne by Bertrand de Barcioroba. Roland's youth and the acquisition of his horse Valentif and sword are described in Aspremont. Roland also appears in Catra Phil Simon where he is contrasted with Renaud de Montalban against whom he occasionally fights. In Norway, the tales of Roland are part of the 13th century Carla Magnus saga. In the divine comedy Dante sees Roland's spirit in the heaven of Mars together with others who fought for the faith. Roland appears in Entre de Spain, a 14th century Franco Venetian chanson de Gesta and La Spagna, a 14th century Italian epic. From the 15th century onwards, he appears as a central character in a sequence of Italian verse romances, including Morgant by Luigi Pulch, Orlando in Amorato by Matteo, Maria Boardo, and Orlando Furioso by Ludovico Ariosto. The Orlandino of Pietro Aretino then waxed satirical about the cult of personality of Orlando the hero. In Germany, Roland gradually became a symbol of the independence of the growing cities from the local nobility. In the late Middle Ages many cities featured defiant statues of Roland in their marketplaces. The Roland in Wedel was erected in 1450 as symbol of market justice, and the Roland statue in front of Bremen City Hall has been listed together with the City Hall itself on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. Since 2004, in Aragon there are several place names related to Roldan, La Breco de Roldan and Salto de O Roldan. In Catalonia Roland became a legendary giant. Numerous places in Catalonia have a name related to Rotla, in step with the trace left by the character in the whole Pyrenean area. Basque Roland turns up in numerous legends and place names associated with a mighty giant, usually a heathen, capable of launching huge stones. The Basque word Eraldwa stems from a Rolan, as pointed by the linguist Coldo Michelina. In the Faroe Islands Roland appears in the Ballad of Runtsivals Trivith. More recently Roland's tale has been exploited by historians exploring the development of the early modern Christian understanding of Islamic culture. In 1972 P. M. Holt used Roland's words to begin an essay about Henry Stubber. P-N-O-N-T taught eat Cresta E-N-O-N-T great. Pagans are in the wrong and Christians are in the right. The Orlando narrative inspired several composers, amongst whom were Claudio Monteverdi, Jean Baptiste Lully, Antonio Vivaldi, and George Friedrich Handel who composed an Italian-language opera with Orlando. The English expression, to give a Roland for an Oliver, meaning either to offer a quid pro quo or to give as good as one gets, recalls the chanson de Roland and Roland's companion Oliver. In popular culture, Child Roland is a fairy tale, the most popular version being by Joseph Jacobs in his English Folk and Fairy Tales, published in 1892. English poet Robert Browning composed an epic poem, Child Roland to the Dark Tower Came, the title of which comes from a line in William Shakespeare's play King Lear. Orlando is a leading character played by Rick Edwards in the movie Hearts and Armor, an adaptation of Orlando Furioso. American writer Stephen King has written a seven-volume series of epic fantasy novels called The Dark Tower, concerning the thousand-year quest of Roland Disjane, of Eld, based in part on Browning's Child Roland, the knight Genevelle Rolantier character who appears in Elf Saga, Doomsday, by Joseph Robert Lewis is inspired by various French heroes, including Roland and Jean Hachette. The Orlando character who appears in Alan Moore's The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen series is an amalgamation of this character and several other fictional Orlandos, Rolands.
Roland is an important element in the plot of Michael Moorcock's Elric series of novels, appearing in Book 6, Stormbringer. The character of Roland in Neil Bushnell's Time Smith Chronicles novels is based on the Song of Roland, and also references knights called the Paladin, a sword called Durendal and a realm ship named the Valentif. The Madness of Roland is a 1992 interactive multimedia novel by Greg Roach published by Hyperbole Studios.